Oklahoma City has the nation's sixth largest percentage of its workforce made up of federal workers. That's largely because of Tinker Air Force Base. It's the state's largest federal employer with just over 26,000 military, civilian, and contract workers. Base officials tell us up to 4,000 civilian employees could be furloughed if the federal government shuts down tonight because an appropriations agreement isn't reached. In a written statement, Tinker officials said the absence of appropriations would be extremely disruptive to our military forces. It went on to say functions essential to national security would continue with military personnel and some civilian workers deemed essential. But the remaining civilian workforce could be furloughed. At the Social Security Administration, we got a mixed message when we asked how a shutdown would affect its employees and services. At this time, we're not speculating on how it's going to be affected. Uh, the field office here will be open for business, but we will not speculate on anything past that. So people could still come in and file their paperwork and go ahead and take care of their business, whether or not the government shuts down? Like I said, there's no speculation as what they're going to be able to do. At this point in time, we just know the office will be open. We weren't allowed to take a camera inside, but when I went into the lobby, it was standing room only. There's a big line in there, and it's really packed up. We've uh, been here probably for about, oh, I'm going to say an hour and a half, and went through about 11 numbers in about an hour and a half, and they're still loaded in there. Heidi Collins came to get a Social Security card. As she left, we asked how a government shutdown would affect her. It will affect the Social Security card. It will affect taxes. Uh, we've got tax refunds that will be delayed due to uh, a government shutdown. If the shutdown happens, the Army Corps of Engineers will not close its hydroelectric, lock and dam facilities, or flood control systems. But it will close its parks and campgrounds and furlough some workers, like Barry Piles. That means I don't come back to work on Monday and I don't get paid uh, for every day that I don't uh, show up for work. Piles has been through a government shutdown before. Well, this happened in 95 and I was in Virginia at the time. I had to come back home and uh, it really, that time, if I remember right, uh, they signed the legislation and then they gave us back pay. But this is a different time, different economy, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I may just be out of income. A spokesman for the Army Ammunition Plant in McAllister says its workers won't be affected by a shutdown. However, some contractors on the post may be. For ONR, I'm Kathy Tatum.